Hi, I'm Scott Campbell. Welcome to my window painting tutorials. Lesson 69, laying out the design. Hey everybody, how's it going? It's a brisk 40 degrees or maybe a little colder out here at uh, Jansen Beach Center, Portland, Oregon, right on the border, right across the bridge is Washington. Anyway, I'm at a sleep train today and uh, I painted them about 20 years ago, but they haven't done any window painting since then, so this is a brand new thing for them. They have two stores here. They got one over this way, or I'll show you right here, and then they have a bed mart right between them. <laughs> it's funny. So this store over here, this is their main store, then the bed mart, and then now they have this liquidation center, but the liquidation center says they're not getting any business. So um, probably because the other sleep train looks better, it's bigger and stuff. And I'm not sure why they have it set up like this, but anyway, they want to attract attention to their store. And uh, this video is going to be about laying out the window. Uh, when I first came up, they wanted to do two windows. I had given them a quote of 200 to 250. And they had two little windows, and they had a little logo. And this is the design here. And uh, it's just not that eye-catching. I was explaining to them, you need something more dynamic. And I talked them into doing a character uh, train conductor, so they were kind of excited about that. And uh, so yeah, this is gonna be show, show you how I uh, lay out a window, like step by step. And uh, I ended up talking them into doing the whole thing. I'm just gonna charge them 250 still, because uh, this is a fast design for me. And uh, anyway, let me get started here. All right, thanks for watching. <laughs> Let's check it out. Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, this video is gonna be about uh, how I lay out my designs and stuff. It's a little unorthodox, I, you know, and I switch it up uh, from time to time. I don't follow it exactly each time. It just depends on the situation. Anyway, there's different factors that I think about. Uh, the first thing is colors. So we've got colors up here, and colors uh, mostly are dictated by the holiday. Like if it's St. Patrick's Day, it's obviously going to use green. If it's Fourth of July, red, white, and blue, or red and yellow. Um, Halloween, orange, black, purples, Mardi Gras, you got the three colors, you got the gold, you got the green, and then you've got that uh, pinkish color, purple, purpley color, and of course Christmas red and green. So, <clears throat> but beyond that, colors, you can also like just look at the store. Like here, what I did on this store is they had, uh, their logo is blue and white. And then they, had, they wanted me to do this train and this picture here, which is red and white, so I did red, white, and blue. But at the same time, it doesn't look like a patriotic theme. It's just, those are, those are probably really the most common colors, white and blue and red and blue. Red and white uh, is really common, like for cells and stuff. So you just kind of decide the colors, and, or it could, you could decide the color if, you know, the theme too, something could dictate it. Like if you have a water scene, you can have a lot of blue. So, and then you think in terms of contrast too, if you're using a lot of blue, you might want to incorporate some orange if it's more of a generic theme. Anyway, and then uh, <clears throat> next thing is artwork. It's a factor, you know, like what kind of artwork are you going to do? And uh, what are you going to do to create an image or a picture that's, for me, like what I try to do is more of an emotional picture, an image of a person I think is outweighs uh, just having some type of graphic or inanimate object. Because people relate to faces, they relate to, because we're human and we see faces, we see emotions, we relate to that more. So you gotta decide on the artwork. Am I gonna do a big duck on the window? Am I gonna have a hamster on the window? Am I gonna have a magician or a zombie or an alien or a bug or a creature from the Black Lagoon? You know, what am I gonna put up there? What's the character? And then uh, the next thing is, uh, Next thing is copy, or the words, the text that they give you. You know, what are they trying to say? And you have all those elements. And uh, so you take all these things, and to me, it's like a puzzle. And the, 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 what they want to say is important. And you have to decipher what actual words are more important. Like clearance depot, what word would be more important? The more important word is clearance. So in this case, I made clearance a little bit bigger, Still have depot up there, but it's it's still clearance is bigger, and then they wanted to do 50% off. So I mean that's that actually outweighs the picture uh, 
when you say 50% or 75%, that, that actually will probably catch someone's eye more than an illustration. Because that we're programmed, you know, discount, save money, come in. So that's why this is so huge. I have a giant 50%. But then the next thing I wanted to have big was the clearance, of course, and also the face or the artwork. And instead of having a train like this logo, which again is just an inanimate object, I talked to them and talked them into uh, doing a character, you know, a uh, conductor character. So. Uh, it came out pretty good, and it's, it looks kind of like Tom Skerritt <laughs> from Aliens and Contact. But I don't, I don't always plan the face exactly, but I wanted kind of an older looking guy. One of the managers says, hey, it looks like you, but I have quite a bit more hook nose. But anyway, so I just take all these elements and they're like puzzles. And, you know, I know, I think I started with the word Clarence. I've just, and it had to say um, sleep train, so I have sleep train above it. You know, I have sleep train above the word uh, clearance, you know, just to have it up there, but it's not that big because they have sleep train on the building. So these are things you have to think about. So I got sleep train, clearance, depot, and then and they did want that logo in there, so I did manage to get the little logo here in it. But um, I'm not. I told them I'm not really into doing logos and stuff, and I told them it's probably not going to be that, you know, effective at grabbing someone's attention, like from you know, 300 feet away. So, <clears throat> I think this is a good design. It has, uh, the way it's laid out, the 50% off is huge. The face is good. Once they see the 50% off, they'll see the face and person holding money. It kind of, uh, you know, just backs up the idea of the 50% off. But it's just a puzzle and I, you know, once I got the colors, I know I'm going with reds, red and blue and whites, and of course the black. We use black for all the lettering and outlining and stuff. But once I got the colors and the artwork and the words and the copy, I take them all together like a puzzle and I just make it fit. And, uh, and I'm always thinking in terms of like, too, like, you know, what are people going to see, you know? And uh, I know people slow down in their cars and stuff, but I like to make it so that, you know, a person, if they're driving by and they got one and a half seconds, what's going to grab them? 50% they're going to see that. The face, they're going to see that. So, because a lot of times I see... I see windows done, like window painting, like there's a, there's a place near here, it's a Goodyear place, and everything's yellow and blue, and it's all the same size. And it's like, nobody is going to read that. It's kind of like if you had a mailing list of 10,000 people, and you just type, typed it out, like with typewriter font, just, you know, like you were writing a manuscript or something, and you sent that out, big sale, you know, come in now, through December 15th, you know, save and everything was the same size. You send out 10,000 of those, who's gonna read it? Nobody. You, you know, these businesses have potential uh, money-making uh, billboards, they're, they're storefronts, but if you put up a bunch of stuff that nobody reads, it's purposeless. So, when you talk to your customers, you can help them. Like these guys, they didn't really know. They didn't know what they wanted. I mean, they kinda did. You know, they thought, well, we'll do this because this is on the, you know, this is on the A-frame, but nobody's going to look at it. People, people need something more visually stunning and exciting. That's what your job is for, is to, to do that, to get people to come in. Once they start making money off your windows, then you have a new client, and you need to just take care of them. You know, that's, that's a big thing, too, is take care of your clients, you know, and do what they need. You know, get them for the long haul, and... Uh, you make them happy, they'll make you happy, you'll have a continuous uh, account. I have some accounts that are 28 years old, you know, so. Anyway, this was mostly just about layout, the colors, artwork, the copy, the words, and putting together using a, like a puzzle, like fit this here, fit that there, fit this there. And also be willing to change too, like if it doesn't always work out. A lot of times customers will have an exact layout they want and you can follow that I mean if you're just starting especially I don't do that anymore I I will point out to them this isn't going to be as effective as maybe if we try this instead and uh, usually people will go for it sometimes they won't they say I want this you know in which case I will do it for them but then I might not return it just depends anyway thanks so much for watching and uh, 
I hope you're getting a lot on my videos. I so appreciate you guys watching, you know, because it's, it's, not, it's not an easy thing building a YouTube channel. And, and uh, it takes time and patience. And I'm really, uh, I'm really gratified by all the response and that people are starting to watch my channel and make comments and stuff. And I love it. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.